Brooke Klinger, isn't it? Right. Of course, and I've got so many slips in my tent. A white wedding gown? I'm entitled. I'm a virgin. And I'm crazy. Ask anybody. Crazy Klinger, he wears a dress. Take off your clothes. <sighs> what are you doing? I was a... Can't a guy have a washing set without somebody biting him on the neck? Dear General Mitchell, here's one more picture of myself to prove I'm mentally unbalanced and deservant of a psychological discharge. Colonel, is it all right if they go out and start the exercises? I'm dying to get into a size nine. Just a high buff, please. No polish. You have very strong hands, sir. Oh, thank you, Klinger. If I was a nurse, I'd be home now, pregnant. Stay up for it! Not that we can command, and I'd have had you out of that dress. I'm not that easy. I'm Section 8, head to toe. I'm wearing a Warner bra. I play with dolls. My last wish is to be buried in my mother's wedding gown. I'm nuts. I should be out. Sweetheart, you just say the word and you'll make me the happiest man in this camp. Be nice to the rats. It's their mating season. Swanee, how I love you, how I love you. My dear eyes. <laughs> I will never give up the Klinger collection. That's not for sale. It's my confirmation dress. All right, girls, come on now. Let's knock it off. Give me that dress. This ain't Klein's basement. Come on, that doesn't look good on you. Big deal. I was overrun by a batch of bimbos. They got everything but the dress on my back. I wore this with just you in mind. You make me want to throw up. See, it pays the dress. Weird things been happening, Father. Igor hasn't drawn better than two pair in poker since Friday. Oh, my. And I ripped four nylons in a week. Hey, Klinger, get the big guy. He's from the 8063rd. And ruin my hat? What are you doing here, Zale? This is where people eat. Eat it. I'll give you 10 seconds. You can't count that high. In the words of my people, May your life be an oasis surrounded by waving palms, warm breezes, and spit-free camels. I hope I can get through this without crying my eyes out. You got tissue in your purse? Three hankies. Are you a guy or a hairy broad with a deep voice? I'm all man, Clyde. The clothes are a dodge. Schaefer here has been bucking for a Section 8 longer than you have. A loony? <laughs> with Habibi's permission, oh, bespeckled one of the pale flesh. Look at her, Colonel. Gracious transportation with economy, a thousand miles per hump. Danker? Matilda? Hey, Toledo! <laughs> Where else? How would you like to make a lot of money? Of course. What kind of a psycho do you think I am? 98.6. Sorry, fella, but you're normal. Rip it! Are you crazy? This is my best skirt. <laughs> Hurry up, Klinger! Hurry up! Come on! Excuse me for saying so. Your mail is leaking, Colonel. Honey. Your mail is leaking, honey. All right, everybody, stay back! I'm not afraid to use that thing. You'll fill me full of lead. Now take it easy, Clay. I don't mind, sir. I'll go all the way to Ohio if I have to. It's in the line of duty. Keep the gun up, kid. You're doing great. Wait a minute. I'll be right back. This is phony, sir. And this is. And this here is phony, sir. And this. All of this is phony. But my wife leaving me isn't. Agreed. Don't forget, under all the feathers and laces beats the heart of a real man. I got my pride. Colonel... If I can't go home with a Section 8, I'm going to take advantage of the current weather and kill myself by dehydration and or heat prostration, offending as many people as I can along the way. Hot! 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 I can't stand it anymore! I can't stand it anymore! Get away! Get away! Captain, I've got a great photo series for your rag. Stars of the Silver Screen as portrayed by Corporal Max Klinger. How much, Colonel? What are you talking about, Klinger? Please, let's cut the chin music, sir. Every man has his price. How much? You think I'm talking peanuts, don't you? How does a hundred dollars sound? Like peanuts. You're giving the club a bad name, Harry Mary. I'm warning you, Zale. Shut up, or as soon as I'm on my break, I'll clobber you. Hey, South Korea, it's cold and it's damp. That's why the lady is a tramp. Bop, bop. Thank 
Thank you. Hey, you. Thank you. You're a great group. Rosie, uh, the pipes are dry. <clears throat> Three drinks on the house if you don't sing anymore. Uh, okay. Max, you are a gentleman and a lady. Come on. No. You worried they'll find out you wear women's clothes? Are you kidding? My uncle got out of World War II this way. He keeps sending me pieces of his wardrobe. What love that man has for me. That's okay, kid. Boy, I could never fool her on anything. Well, sure, the colonel was a top-notch kind of a guy. You bet he was. I am sorry about that, but my hands are tied. To the hunt, Major. <laughs> Come on, Colonel. I want to get home to see my mummy. Ah, <laughs> oh, sir, I couldn't stay mad at you. I'll be okay. I hope you will be, too. Boy, I'm glad you told me. I could have made some very foolish bets. Thanks. Thanks for telling me, Father. Sparky! Sparky! All bets are off! Colonel Potter, I'd like to help in triage, sir. Gentlemen, the Lebanese chocolate fairy has arrived. Present Sweet Tooth. If you're not allowed to eat them now, save them for later. Please, you must let me go. If you don't, maybe I'd never see them again. Please, don't you believe I'm innocent? Well, I guess, but I can't let you go. They put one of these on me. Please, please. One more thing. Clinger's scarlet little hair again. <laughs> no, 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 I draw the line, no. Come on, Major, that's not fair. This could stand for something. How about all the girls we left behind? Yeah. Goodbye, sir. Goodbye, son. Take care of yourself. Attention all personnel, attention. Three minutes to Charlie. Repeat, three minutes to Charlie. Uh, uh, Sheila. Lieutenant Kelly, that cigar is you. Yeah. The doctor says he'll be okay in a few days. Oh, you poor guy. Well, what can I tell you, girls? I need all the sympathy I can get. Well, is there something we can do? No, you just go ahead and do whatever you were doing. You know, uh, set your hair, iron your undies, get undressed. If too much of the aorta is gone, we're going to be in big trouble. Well, this one's pretty big. No, no, that's, that's no bigger than the piece of spaghettini. We need rigatoni. Spoken like a true meatball surgeon. Rigatoni? Doctor, I'm part Chinese and part Hawaiian. Can you put that in ethnic measurements I can understand? A small egg roll. That I understand. We don't have any that big. I know we don't. Kelly. <laughs> Kelly had this great idea. It's fantastic. You're going to love it. You know those crummy old records we've got in the jukebox? Do I? We hold the record for old records. Well, I traded them in at the EVAC for brand new ones. We've got Doris Day, Frankie Lane, Johnny Ray, Patty Payne. Listen, why don't you and I dance the night away? That would work on me. Okay, great. I'll try that. Yeah. Sort of sick and tired. What would you like? Oh, I don't know. I'm not a big drinker. Something light, I guess. You want another scotch on the rocks? That'll be fine. What's going on with you? Does it matter? Well, if you're upset with me, I want to know why, because I don't think I've done anything to you. You can say that again. When you're with Lacey, it's hey, good looking. With Webster, she's unforgettable. And me, you treat like a rag mop. Never saw me, period. And why? Just because I'm not five foot nine and slinky with long blonde hair and a perky little nose that would fit in a bottle cap. You haven't the faintest idea how terrific I am. For your information, I happen to have a fantastic sense of humor, a, a bubbly personality, and I am warm and sensitive like you wouldn't believe. I also sing and play the guitar, and I'm learning to tap dance. And on top of all that, I happen to be cute as hell. I feel awful. Don't think about that. Just think about the good stuff, like all the things we'll do when you get better, like uh, we could go for a ride in the car. We could have a picnic, maybe. Well, I 
put in to be assigned to Tripler Army Hospital in Honolulu, to be with my family, who I, I really miss. And I just want to say that I, I love you all. <laughs>